Today we set up the Facebook pixel because every single person watching this needs to have it on their website. Hey, it's time it. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, Facebook pixel time. Super excited. I hope that you are as well. There are several things that we need to accomplish today. The first one is we need to cover what is the Facebook pixel. The second, we're going to create that Facebook pixel. Third, we're going to install that Facebook pixel. And fourth and final, we are going to test if it is active, if it's working. So it does us no good to get through the first three steps and not verify if it's working. So let's begin. What is the Facebook pixel? A piece of code for your website that lets you measure, optimize, and build audiences for your ad campaigns. That's actually a pretty good definition. So I'm glad that they revised it because it wasn't always like this. So the Facebook pixel measure cross device com conversions, understand how your cross device ads help influence conversions. So basically what this is saying is you're able to measure the conversions from the ads that you run here on Facebook and you're able to confirm if they're working over on your website. That's what it's saying right there. Optimize delivery to people likely to take action. Ensure your ads are shown to the people most likely to take action. So that ties into the conversion ads that ties into the conversion aspect which um it goes out and look facebook goes out and looks for people that mostly align to the type of people that already became leads for you that already became um purchases for you so really it goes out and makes it even smarter create custom audiences from website visitors so you're able to install this pixel code so this code that they're saying you're able to install that on your website and then you're able to retarget the people that land on your website. So it's a way to cookie the people that land on your website and you're able to track them across the internet and advertise to them on Facebook and the partners along with Instagram. All right, and then learn about your traffic. Get rich insights about people, about how people use your website from Facebook Pixel dashboard. So you get some information on who is actually going over to your Facebook, I'm sorry, going over to your website and becoming a client for you. So that is some amazing information that you can get except if you don't install it <laughs> so you're not going to be able to get all of this amazing information if you don't leverage it the facebook pixel is free the only thing that it costs you is a little bit of time in learning how to actually make it uh, how to actually install it and how to interpret the results so let's get to the next part where we install where we create it and then we install all right, so we're here in an ad account. Now, something very important to call out right here. So we're gonna go over here. We're at the events manager. We're at the events manager right here. So this is a toolbar. If you have stayed away from Facebook for a little while now, this looks radically different because the dashboard, the interface looks completely different. It's thrown me off considerably and I'm here every single day. So it took me several hours to realize that I can scroll down, so I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit, I guess, yeah, I kind of am ashamed to admit that, but there you go, so you have your toolbar over here, it's a different presentation, so just get used to it. Where we're going, though, is the events manager. In the past, you had a pixel, um, uh, a pixel tab where you were just able to create, a uh, click on the pixel, and you were right where you needed to be. That's not the case any longer, so... We are here at the events manager, and this is where you actually create the pixel. Now, something very important here. If you don't have a business manager, which we've talked about in the past, if you don't have a business manager account, then when I go over here to the top right, you're only going to see the ad account ID. Okay, so I'm going to try to stay um, as a... Um, in my lane as much as possible, but just know that if you don't have a business manager account, then it's gonna be a lot more simple for you what we're about to do. If you have a business manager account, which I highly encourage that you do for the reasons that, um, that I share in another video, and I'll link that below, I don't wanna to get too bogged down on that. If you have a business manager account, then this is the suggested way of creating your pixel. All right, so I'm here in the business ID portion, so on the business side, and if I go to the ad account portion, it's gonna look a little bit different, basically saying the same thing, but it's a different, it, we're at the ad account level. Over here, we're at the business level. Hey, one quick second, I'll let you get right back to the video because I know that you're working extremely hard to get that Facebook pixel 
up and running. I just want to ask for one favor. I want you to think back at a high school friend of yours, somebody that you were really, really close to in high school, and I want you to write them a handwritten letter. And I mean handwritten, we're not typing this. And in that handwritten letter, I want you to copy the entire URL to this video. Again, the entire URL, youtube.com slash blah, 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 blah. Write that down in the letter, and then in that letter, ask them, hey, could you go on to this YouTube video and then smash like? So, I make that distinction well known right out front because what's gonna happen next is very important, and that is creating the Facebook pic. So if you have a business manager account, I suggest that you create it from here. Now, if you don't have a business manager account, you're not gonna have that option, so basically it's gonna be the exact same steps, but it's in the gonna be in the default ad account. I know it's a little bit confusing, just know that if you go up there and you see two things, you probably you probably have the business manager and then you have the ad account. If you don't see the business side, then you just have the ad account and you're on your way. All right, with all that being said, let's get to it. So we're at the business side as well, so in the business manager aspect. So we're gonna go to connect data sources, all right? So a new data source. This is where we start the Facebook pixel. This is where it all begins. And you have the ability to connect your website to share activity that occurs online, including view content, add to cart, and purchases. So we're not gonna worry about app, nor are we gonna worry about offline. We are gonna solely focus on the web. So we're gonna go to web, and that says continue, or con I think that says continue. It probably says connect. All right. And you have the conversions API, send web events and parameters directly from your server using an API, or send web events parameters through the web browsers your customers use when interacting with your website. This is what we're after. We're after the website pixel. I'll cover the conversions API in another video, but the Facebook pixel is what we are doing today. So I'm gonna connect, and then I'm gonna name this Facebook pixel. Facebook pixel. <laughs> now you can get a bit more creative if you want, but I'm just gonna name it because um, this is actually another ad account. All right, so name your pixel, name it to whatever you want. If you have different lines of businesses and wanna create different pixels, then you have the ability to do this. Now again, I don't wanna go into another rabbit hole, but if you were to have created an ad account, um, if you were to create it from the ad account, and that's where you're creating this Facebook pixel from, there's only one Facebook pixel per one ad account. So what does that mean? That means that since we're here on the business manager account, we're able to create multiple ones, multiple um, pixels, but if we were over on the ad, at the ad level, the ad account level, then we would only be able to create one. We're not gonna create more than one today, but just know that that's a subtle distinction. And then check your website to uh, set up options. So basically, you don't have to do this, but you can put your website, your URL there, and it's gonna go out and find if you're using Wix, if you're using Squarespace, if you're using WordPress, and it's gonna try to um, send you down the partner path, which is fine, but just know that you don't have to do this. I'm gonna do this as manual as you can, so you don't have to worry about if you have a partner site or, or not a partner site, and I'll show what that means in a, a couple of seconds. So we'll hit continue. All right, now we have already created that pixel. So I know that it, that sounds like a, well, it depends on how you look at it. It took us this long to get to the Facebook pixel, but it's that simple. All you had to do was go to the source, go here, and now you see the Facebook pixel in the background. However, that's step one. Step two, we need to install that Facebook pixel. It does us no good to have this pixel because um, if we don't install it, it's not gonna work. So the installation, that's where we're gonna get to and you have the ability to do a manual install or a partner integration. So when you click on partner, I'm not gonna click it here because it's gonna take us away, but if you click on partner, it's gonna go to a website or a little pop-up that says, are you using Wix, are you using Shopify, are you using Squarespace, are you using WordPress? And it's gonna have um, the ability for you to select the, the partner that you're using or the, the website host that you're using, and then you're gonna install using that platform, but we're gonna do the most manual way to install the Facebook pixel, and that's by over here, manually add pixel to your website. Follow guided installations instructions. So we're gonna install the code manually. All right, so for those of you that have 
installed a Facebook Pixel in the past. This is starting to look a little bit uh, similar to you, which is good. The pixel code is a snippet of blah, blah, blah. So copy base code, copy the base code below. So this right here, once we left click it, this becomes available. So we have just copied the base code. So we are, this code right here, you can't even see all of it. You just copied it. Now the question is, where do I install that code? Remember, the Facebook pixel goes on your website, whether you have a traditional website or a landing page, that's where it goes. So I'm gonna give you two examples of where you can place it. So I use ClickFunnels as my landing page generator. So I'm going to show you if you have ClickFunnels, many of you do, you are in for a treat because I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So if you go to settings, I'm going to go to the head tracking code and I'm going to paste that. And it's that simple. So you're looking for the head tracking code regardless if you are using, let's just say Squarespace, WordPress, Wix, you are looking for the header to install your code. So here it's just, um, it's, it's labeled a little bit differently, but the, but the foundational aspect is still the same. You are looking for a header to install that code because you want that on your entire website. And if you have questions on how to actually install it, if you have Squarespace, if you have WordPress, we're not going to go through those today. But if you go to their help section, there's going to be a resource for you. Now I'm going to show you how to do that with KV Core. A lot of the viewers use KV Core. So over here on KV Core, we're going to go to Web and IDX. You're going to go to Edit Settings. And then you're going to go over here. And you see Custom Header. Full code snippet to insert a header section of the website. Typical examples include Google site verification, Facebook retargeting pixel, and Pinterest verification code. So you would paste, paste it in here. You would, this is my other code already, so I'm not gonna replace it. I would just copy and paste it here, and then I would save, and you're off and running. So really, you're looking for the header as a reminder, and it'll even tell you right here. So copy the base code. Paste the pixel code onto the bottom of the header section just above the blank tag. Insert the t uh, base, I'm sorry, the base code on every page of your website. So depending on the type of website that you have, that's not even necessary. As long as you have the ability to install it on the header that's gonna go on uh, across all of your pages, you're off and running. So again, if you want more detailed, specific to which, uh, which platform you have, again, Squarespace, WordPress, Wix, what have you, they do have co they do have tutorials on how to do that because a lot of people want to install their Facebook Pixel, so you're not going to be left alone. All right, so we're going to go to continue. You're going to turn on automatic advanced matching, and then you can read what that says right there. It's too long to read, and I'll give you a couple of seconds. If not, just pause so you can read it but you turn on the automatic advanced matching, go to continue. All right, so add events using the event setup tool. You can use the event setup tool to add standard events and parameters without the need to code. This one, at this point, we're done, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and finish all the way through to show you how to create an event. There was comments on my previous video about, well, how do you actually create an event? An event is basically something that you set up that you deem meaningful to you that you wanna track. You wanna see how many times somebody submitted a lead form. You wanna track how many times somebody added to cart. You wanna track how many times somebody landed on a certain page. So you have that ability. So I'm gonna go through the event setup tool. You can use the event setup tool to add standard events and parameters, blah, blah, blah. So they make it so easy that all you have to do is get the URL. So I'm gonna go over here to this landing page that I use as a demo. I think it has an extra space. There we go. And then it's going to show up here. So then it says track a new button. So I'm going to hit track a new button. And there it is. I, I'm kind of hiding it. It says right there, connect today. So behind it, it has the name, email, and phone number. Well, I can move myself right there. So connect today. You see, click on the highlighted button to set up your event. You connect. You label it, 
that person, if anybody submits that information, they're going to become a lead for me. But you see the options. You see add to cart, in, initiate checkout, purchase, add payment, all this stuff. So if you have a sophisticated funnel, this one isn't a sophisticated one because it's a demo. But if you have a sophisticated funnel, you're able to track everybody along the way. All right. So we're going to hit confirm. And there you go. It's set up. And now all you have to do is finish setup. You hit finish. And it's going to bring you right back here to where you were. And all we need to do is refresh. And there you go. So you have created the event. You've installed it. Now, I mentioned to you there's four things that we need to accomplish today. One of them was creating the pixel. We have done that. Two was installing the 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 pixel i'm sorry the first one was understanding what the facebook pixel was the second thing was creating the facebook pixel third was installing and now fourth we need to make sure that this is actually working that's very important well right now it says active so it already tells us that it's working but i also want you to install the facebook pixel helper it's a free chrome extension again it's free absolutely cost you zero dollars and this facebook pixel helper tells you if your website has that pixel installed so it's a little extension that you see at the top right let me see if i can find one real quick a website that is that'll tell you if it um if it's been installed so let's see well actually i can just use this right so i'm gonna open this up in my other window i'm gonna bring this in into iview so this was the page that we just did, that we just installed the, the pixel code. And if you go up here, it tells you which pixel code is installed. So you see 8984. Over here, we are 8984. So that's how you verify if the pixel is is up and running. Well, now that we know how to set up the Facebook pixel, it's time to put it into action. So I'll leave a video right here that's going to help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.